Hey YouTube! My name is Allie and welcome to my very first video where I'll be showing you how to make this flower wall. I use this really great method of taking the flowers apart layer by layer and putting it back together in order to achieve this wall. This sounds hard but it's so easy and you literally get two flowers for the price of one. If you would like to see how this method is done then keep on watching. You will need these foam boards from Dollar Tree. Make sure you get the foam boards and not the poster boards. Get as many or as few as you would like. I already had this Gorilla Glue, but I recommend two packs of Dollar Tree glue. And I'll show you what I do with these later on. This is $15 worth of flowers. I spent $50 in flowers total, but I kind of wasted some, so you can probably get away with about $10 for each board or $40 total. Remove the flowers from the stems, and I just throw this part away. I jumble up my flowers, and this gives me some nice inspiration of how my board can look. I recommend going through and grabbing about one of each flower or a different variety of shades. I try to use all of one flower of one shade before I grab another flower of that same shade. This way I'm preventing myself from using too much of one color for each board and I can stay organized with all the petals that can be around. Your first option of creating your own flower, remove the plastic base and this exposes the first layer of the flower. And this flower has four layers total. Place glue around the, the bottom rim of this flower and set it down wherever you see fit. Then you'll be using this, uh, I don't know what it's called, I guess it's a support structure to give your flower a little bit of lift off of your board. I'm very generous with my glue. You will be going through a lot, so just be prepared for that. I place a little bit more in the inside so that my second layer of this rose can be held down firmly. You'll probably burn your fingers a lot too. <laughs> As you can see, I have two layers of the white and two layers of the pink left over. This is what I mean by having two flowers in one. Your second option of creating a flower does not use a support structure. Instead, you will be gluing the petals together. Place glue on the rim of the petal and stick another petal to that. Keep doing this until you feel as though your flower has a nice lift off of the board. If a flower has a nice detailed inside, then I typically use that only because I think it gives my board nice dimensions and nice variety so when you're standing up close it looks really pretty if the inside is clear then I always throw it away because I feel there's no use for it I really like this flower because it has a light pink outer layer and a hot pink inner layer and although it came like this, I want to show you how fun your flowers can look if you just mix them up and create new fun combinations. So you're not restricted to how the flower came. And as you can see, I only put glue on two petals in this case because I felt like the other petals were sticking out straight enough for my liking. You'll notice that my board has a lot of gaps in it and I highly recommend that you randomly place your flowers and then go back and fill the gaps instead of working from one side to another gradually. With my first board, I worked from one side to another and I wasted so many flowers. I actually had to go back to the store and buy more. So instead of working from right to left, place randomly and then fill the gaps. You will save so much money this way. Here I'm searching for my next gap to see what else needs to be filled. You can either fill a gap with an individual layer of a flower or you can use one of the two methods of creating your own flower that I showed earlier. 
It's up to you and what you're in a mood to do, and also how much space you have. I recommend moving the flowers aside to see how big the gap is. My method was trying to fill as much of the foam board that I could. When I set my board up against the wall, I noticed that a lot of flowers dropped down, so I went back and added a few more petals. Then I had the bright idea of using what I already had there. So I lifted up the petals and put glue on the foam board and then pushed the petals down to make them stick. This covered up a lot of white space and I was able to save more money by not going back to the store. I recommend that you wait to do this until you're done with your board because if you do it too soon your board might look too flat from gluing all your flowers down flat. But if you wait until the end, you already have that volume to work with. Pay close attention to your edges and glue all of those down so your board has a nice clear outline. I also try to only use pinks on my outline. If you look in the top left corner, you'll see a crease in my board from when I grabbed it a little too quickly and a little too hard. These foam boards are sort of flimsy. To solve this problem, I use a cheap method of popsicle sticks to add a little bit of structure. I use a random amount of three popsicle sticks in each corner, one popsicle stick in the middle on the short end, and two popsicle sticks in the middle on the long end. Each of my command strips were placed in the corner. As you can see, wherever I grab my board, it's supported and I don't have to worry about it bending or squishing anymore. I assembled my board by placing them as close to one another as I could. I absolutely love this board and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching!